Alright, so what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than what I've done on my, on my channel before. But when this video is done, I'll show you how to run a 4L60E with no computer. So that's pretty cool. I bought this Blazer and I was told it had a 700R4 in it. It does not. So it has a 4L60E in it, which is a better transmission, but it requires a computer to run like stock. So, hopefully when this video is done, I will be running this without a computer. Which is good, because I'm running it in an 89 Chevy Blazer, which has no computer, and I don't want to spend a grand on a new computer. So, this is what I got. It's a pigtail. It's fit to a 4L60E, 70E, or 65E. Um, so after doing a little bit of research online, figured out that these four wires are all you need. You have your A solenoid is green, your B solenoid is yellow, your constant power wire, 12 volt, is pink, and your TCC lockup is brown with this specific pigtail. I got it from, I, got, I don't even know where I got it from, but I got it on Amazon. So... All I did was crimp those wires, and one second. All right, so we're under the truck now. There's already a hole running through the floor, so I put the wires through there, got them in this heat shield. I got my plug roughly sitting in position. I had to do a parts run. I didn't have enough butt connectors for the wires. So all we gotta do now is cut these about there, uh, wire them up and hook everything up and we should be about good to go. For reference, I am making this white wire the A solenoid, so that'll hook up to the green, the blue wire the B solenoid, that'll hook up to this yellow one, red is for the TCC lockup, which will be this brown, and this extra pink over here going to this wire for the constant 12 volt power. Alright, wires are all crimped together with butt connectors, tucked in, good. This one's done. I just need to zip tie that up out of the way. These are all the extra cords from the pigtail. I heat shrink the end and wrapped them, so hopefully no moisture gets in there and fucks with them. All I gotta do is zip tie those up and I'm done down here. Alright, so now we're up here at the battery. I got my constant power cord. I just added in this uh, 15 amp inline fuse. Uh, in, online it said to use a 10 amp, but I had a 15 amp left over from when I did the undergo in my car. It was overkill then, it's overkill now, but it will do the job. And the job is if I get extreme overcurrent for whatever reason, the fuse will break and not uh, something in my transmission, which is good. Now time to go inside. All right, so I'm up here in the cab. Got everything wired together. Just took some of these, hooked them into normal switches. With the ends from the transmission, and then all these lead ends, I put these on them, because all they need to do is go to ground and pretty much any spot in the cab is ground, so all I gotta do is put a self-tapper in, put all three of these together, boom, ground. When you're driving, and this is the most common way I've seen these set up, you have your three switches. This will be your A solenoid, your B solenoid, and your TCC. TCC is torque converter clutch, sorry if I missed saying that earlier, but to drive with these two on, you're in first gear, Flip the uh, A solenoid off, you're in second gear. B solenoid off, you have both off, you're in third gear. And then slip the B, correction, slip the A solenoid back on, and you're in fourth gear. Then, once you get up to, you know, speed, you're in the highway. Flip this final one up to lock your torque converter, get better fuel economy. And all of these are going to ground, so that when they flip on, they're grounded, makes a complete circuit, and your solenoids uh, engage. 
Then downshifting, just go off, flip this one back off to go to third, flip this one back on to go to second, flip this one back on to go to first. This will give you engine braking, everything. It will manually flip the gears for you. And that's really all I've all there is to it. Uh, this is probably the most common setup I've seen on the internet. And like I said, put all three of these tag ends to ground. And that's all there is to it. So I've been pr procrastinating this video, but I got it wired in, hooked up to this, which is not stable anymore. But right now it's in third gear. You have your A solenoid here on the left, B solenoid here on the right. And you have first gear right now. And shoot, second gear. All right. First gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear. And then this is also your torque converter clutch. This is for highway speeds to lock the torque converter, get better fuel economy. But we'll run through that one more time. Right now we're in third. If you want to start, you just shift the shifter down to drive. Come up here, make sure and you're in first, second, third, fourth. And then once you're at highway speeds, flick that on for your torque converter clutch. Get better fuel economy. And right now I'm running a 383 stroker, so I need all the fuel economy I can get. But that is a 4L60E in an A9 Chevy Blazer with no computer. This looks really messy, and I will clean it up at some point. But there's also another way you can do this. If you wire the transmission for fourth gear, fourth gear, all the time, uh, you can put a little. Uh, I picked up. I picked up a refrigerator door thing that just goes down and hits a contactor. So you wire this up for fourth gear all the time. And then you have this contactor set up for this B solenoid. And then once you shift all the way down to first gear, or yeah, first gear on the shifter, it'll push this solen or this in, hitting the contactor in here, and it'll turn this solenoid, your B solenoid, on, and you'll be in first gear. Otherwise, it will not go into first gear. After that, once you go into second gear, as long as your transmission is wired up like this normally, you'll go right into second gear third gear, and then fourth gear, just with the selector on the handle. And I will probably get into that later because that's more work than I choose to do right now, and I want to get this video posted.